like to see someone try to get the drop on us. You gotta be quicker than that. Check on it. security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at gym theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks. Which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source. Like that giant spinning mobile. won't reach. Bet I could web the nodes to the mobile. Conduct electricity. Just need the webs to reach.
need to spin the mobile. to work. Conducted. That's one. Feeling good. Oh, this is gonna work. This is working. A couple more. Yes. I saw one more. I can't believe how well this is working. down that hall. Underground cash. She's gotta be further inside. Up there. Vin? Come on. We need to finish this. You and me. She's got to be with our project, down that hall. The rocket game. Did I win or did she? Guess it doesn't matter now. Project while we're still young. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center, 
Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Didn't you use and the bombs are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath oh, the sea. Really? Commercial and industrial algae That's cultivation really is already used She's in a number of products. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What? You scared? Of sharks? The dark? Tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. Thanks for bringing me. I've never been here before. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today's suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks, anyway. So, we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. You know, you right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around in an elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Ooh, we gotta play. Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Oh, faster! Come on, rocket buddy! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Go, 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 go! Gotcha! Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. When's Rick gonna get here? 
He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. Using a shape memory alloy, or memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. Did you call Dad back? Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work. But they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. We need something reflective. And something we can slide under the door, but still move around. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? My That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I still need something reflective. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. <sighs> we should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? You know you can talk to me about it. Oh, I, I'm fine, but I'm sorry to run out on you again. Not at all. Work will be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Doc. We should look around for an energy display. Um... Oh, hey, look! Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. something else. No, not quite. We gotta try again.
That worked! We did it! Come on! Our project awaits! That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us, seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad, bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp nuclear reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Do we get to know what it is? Nope. Roxxon's keeping it super secret. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming in space a reality. Wonder if they can grow flowers in space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. Okay. This engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16, 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. Our project. Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that.
Before Finn destroys the reactor. Genki, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Matt, rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. That's what was about it. A dozen people, but... You're breaking up. Who are you? Genki! If you can hear me. I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please. Never seen a storm this bad. Genki, can you hear me? Genki.
Hang on, guys. I'm coming. Up there. And I hope Spider-Man's okay. 
beginning scan. Out of here, but I can only carry some of you. <sighs> she started already. Spider Man sighted. Get out of here, young blood. Got more important things to do. He's right. Go. We'll get people clear. I'll be back. I know. Okay, people. Check every door. We don't leave anyone behind. No! You don't know what you're doing. They deserve what's coming to them. No, the reactor. Krieger changed the specs. You're not just going to destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're going to vaporize all of Harlem. I'm not going to let you lie to me again. <laughs> You're too late. Destroying the plot! 
us up! Tearing down Krieger's monument! If the plasma melts down, it'll take Marla with it! Who fed you that? Krieger? I ran the number! There! Why won't you listen to me? The Krieger couldn't change the reactor! He's not that smart! He's smart enough! Let me stop this! Too slow, Miles! The Finn I knew cared more about protecting people than punishing them! It's the same thing! You can't beat me! Keep dodging! See if it helps! Please, Finn! I'm telling you the truth! That's a first! I shouldn't have lied to you about getting into the underground. If I could go back, you can't! Let's finish this! Chime in and let you know so you don't work. We're gonna be just fine if this building blows. Hell, we'll be fine if all of Harlem blows. I mean, do you have any idea what kind of insurance we've got? Huh? Yeah. Being the victims of a terrorist attack? <sighs> Get Roxxon Plaza. Coming soon. Roxxon City. Alright, later, kid. I have to stop him! It's not like this! I know about the promise you made to me. I didn't want this. Oh, hey, Battle Royale, my favorite. Uh, just wanted to chime in and let you know so you don't worry. 
We're gonna be just fine if this building blows. Hell, we'll be fine if all of Harlem blows. I mean, do you have any idea what kind of insurance we've got? Oh, and the optics, being the victims of a terrorist attack? <laughs> we'll get Roxxon Plaza coming soon. Roxxon. You should have stayed away! Oh, hey, Battle Royale, my favorite. Uh, just wanted to chime in and let you know, so don't worry. We're gonna be just fine if this building explodes. Hell, we'll be fine if all of Harlem blows. I mean, do you have any idea what kind of insurance we've got? Uh, the optics of being the victims of a terrorist attack? <laughs> we'll get Roxxon Plaza. Coming soon, Roxxon City. All right, later, dude. I have to stop him! Not like this! The promise you made to Rick, but he wouldn't want. Don't say his name. Then stop. Leave. You wanted the truth. Here it is. Rick would have stopped. It's not gonna make it easy for you, Miles. Shut up.
happening? I can stop it! much longer.
Get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? <sighs> He's our Spider-Man. Come on, those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes. You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you. Yeah, I will yeah, we know ow! who you are. Own you? Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka the Prowler, flipped on him and Roxxon. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. I'm looking good, Haley. This is where we come from, yeah, we did it. City on my back, I'm committed. This is where we come from, yeah, we made it. Now the whole team celebrating. We like, uh-oh, oh, 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 oh. Probably thought you knew a new day is approaching. Turn the gray skies into blue. I grew up on these same.